the diner has changed again. However... These memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. Truly. And there is definitely something significant, like there in the center. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Nah. Well, I hope not. Maybe. But we have to see this through. Truly. We have to. Understood. I mean, people are not gonna... You've got four minutes. People are not gonna remember what happened in the Somnium and all that after after we're done over here. Mayumi is definitely not gonna remember, or... Uh, maybe she will remember that, or she's definitely gonna feel really, really bad. A delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. If she is not gonna remember what is happening here in the Somnium or something like that... Uh, yeah, I I don't know. Wait right away. Congratulations, Ota. Congratulations, Dad. Let's put your face. <laughs> um. Let's push my face in it. Truly. Wait, what? Oh. It might trigger a happy family memory. Yeah, truly. It could be that Ota's face was covered in like cake and all, like a long time ago. Just like that. There you go. Was that fun? I feel empty. Guess that wasn't it. Um, pardon. How long am I supposed to stay like this? For the rest of the Somnium. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> A delicious cake. All right. Um, let's. Uh... Let's congratulate Ota. Congratulations, Ota. I'm home. Ota. Oh, Takero. Congratulations on getting into the university, son. Whoa. Congratulations. Hooray! Congrats. No. There you go. There's mental log number two. Hooray! Hooray! Going back in time once more, it seems. We're gonna go back all the way to Wota's childhood, that's for sure. Definitely had a lot of growing up to do. That's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. All right. Well, let's see about the envelope, envelope. over here. Some kind of mail. This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Let's break. Let's burn it and throw it away. Eh, you know what? Let's let's do our best. Let's do our best. Yeah, there you go. Supporting Ota. Okay. We'll work harder for Ota's dream. Takeru really must have been a great guy. He probably was the best. Even more back in time. We have like. Actually, we have two more mental locks. Let's keep going. Produced another painful memory. No, not quite. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? Ah, uh, truly. All right. That's three minutes, Dante. Oh, the Rocky Man sticker. from a chocolate candy. Yeah, de Welcome home. Did you get it for me? Yeah, Ota definitely must have put them there. It? This is Ota when he was small? 
Yeah, look at him. And he said figure. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> not at this time. Chocolate, don't be selfish. Omelette rice. Okay, well, saying don't be selfish is definitely rude. I could go for some omelette rice, but you know what? Chocolate is the best. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Oh, that. Yes, of course I bought it. Look, the Momonoki man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. <laughs> Alright, one more mental lock. We're going through this real fast. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Oh. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki man, it's Odoroki man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! Wait, Ota! Uh, where did you go? Uh, uh, please! Ah, oh, great. Just fantastic. It crashed. Peter, I think that you're definitely gonna have to work a little bit more on this, uh, on the sync machine. It's because of, um, it's because of boss that she pretty much forced you to to do this real fast it seems that the sync machine still has some bugs left so you're definitely gonna have to fix that Aww. what wait ota uh, where did you go all right well we're back over here and i made sure to say before this <laughs> Things are getting spookier. Things are gonna turn out really sad right now, aren't they? Ota? Takaro? Don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! I, I, I am sorry, Ota! Ota! Takaro! I can't. Do this on my own. Don't leave me. <laughs> so that's what happened. Date. Look at what you've done. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. I mean... Why do we have to awaken her past, though? Can't we just... Focus on finding clues about the current killer? I mean, why do we have to go deeper like this? But... If she loves her family this much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? It is. Ugh. I'm not liking this one bit. Alright, well, what are we even supposed to do? I will never forget. A wall clock. Either advance time or go back in time. 
I mean, how much further can we go back in time? I mean, this is Ota's childhood. And back when Takeda was still alive. How, what are we... What are we even gonna get out of this? Huh. A wall clock. Alright, well. I guess so. Let's see what will happen if we turn back time even further. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? We've gone back in time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. I'll figure it out. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> You're telling me that... We didn't go back in time, like... In Mayumi's lifetime and all that. Like, Mayumi's... Mayumi's timeline. We went back in time in the Somnium? Are you kidding me? It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ew! Okay. Do you mean chocolate? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's I like... Why did I even try to listen to you, Tate? Why? I was right the first time. We had to ad I, I, I'm sorry, Oka. Okay, let's go through this. I don't want to see this again. Ah, Jesus. And we wasted so much time. Uh, it's not like we can interact with Mayumi either. But yeah, we have to advance a, a little bit in time. We have to... Like, either we go back to the present and see, find out who, who was in, under the disguise, or learn something beneficial about the killer, or something happened after, after this particular moment that we had before. Ugh. Okay, well, let's advance in time. Sweetie! Mom! I... Uh, uh, I... Uh... Ah, huh. oh, Mother's Day. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh, Ota. Yeah. Like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Date. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition.
Central Hospital, Tuesday, 5.22 p.m. Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mimi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the Famisto parking lot, Ma Mayumi was at another convenience store nearby, buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when he drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all, all over Tokyo, and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Gokiyota Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. A polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I ran away from the warehouse as fast as I could. I just kept running and running. But while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota. Because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota... How lovely. I mean, this is a reward in itself when it comes to solving cases and all. Uh. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You liked Odoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I guess I was right about the Odoroki chocolate at some point that Mayumi bought the chocolate to remind Ota of the good times and all that. That was that was a thought that I that I didn't think much of. I was thinking of one of the many possibilities and I didn't know at the time, but eh, apparently so. Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. That's not it! Oh, honey! I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No! I told you! It's Odoroki Man! Oh... Sorry, your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry, I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man, it's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid. You're stupid to call your mother stupid. <laughs> uh, good one. 
talk at all. I mean, it still works, but yeah. Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt... I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart... It didn't go away. Even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota. How about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling, like full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, dad? Oh, um, uh, yes, mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Say cheese! Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier, I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe... In Mayumi's head... You're still young, Ota. Truly. It's not like the killer wanted to use the Odoroki chocolate so that we would suspect Mayumi or Ota or anything like that. I think I think it's just that. That that she loved you so much that she she bought that Odoroki chocolate for you. So that you would come back. Uh -huh. I don't know. I could be wrong. We could be wrong, but that's what we're choosing to believe. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Alright. Well... Let's see. I'm sorry. Who are you again? I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. Where are his friends now? Ota's friend? Is that right? I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. Mom is sitting quietly. Okay, well, the question is what happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. 
So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. Set your sights a little smaller, you say? I'll start by writing a short story. Let me read it when you're done. Yeah. Make sure you send it to us as well to read it. We'll be the first ones to read it. <laughs> and uh, Ota, make sure that you apologize to Mizuki. You got that? Of course. All right. <laughs> oh, one last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. Yeah. Is Iris your girlfriend? Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Financer? Oh, fiance. Oh, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, Mom. <laughs> 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 Date, there are still many loose ends in this investigation. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Looks like another all nighter. All right, well. We shall continue our investigation and work as hard as before.
Police Headquarters, Tuesday, 10.31 p.m. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Yeah, of course there will be zero clues. Not exactly. We have two clues. Oh. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Oh. A video on boss's computer. Boss went to her desk and moved her, her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. Let's see. What is it? What's this? Is it camera footage? It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait. Uh, I'll get the car. You witch! There, stop it. Hmm? I noticed this earlier as well. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yes. Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? The reflection of the walk? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Huh. Go figure. Boss, the next video. So that's how the knife got to the scene of the crime. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. For what purpose, though? Earlier, I was thinking of the possibility that whoever the killer was, whoever the polar... That whoever was in the polar bear costume planned this all along. They took the kitchen knife way before the incident. And, well, put it under the scene of the crime to make us think of Mayumi or Ota as the killers. But, apparently... It was Iris that took the knife at that point. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. Yeah, I mean, that has to be it. At the Femisto parking lot? But still, whether it was used by the polar bear or not, what matters is why Iris took it in the first place? Why would she do that? Whatever, we can think about it later. You said you had two clues. I mean, does it have to do with the Renju's death? It kind of, I'm still questioning myself. I mean, it can't be that Iris did it. I was thinking of the possibility that she was forced by the killer to move the body to Sunfish Pocket and arrange it that way. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. But why would she... Unless she was forced by the killer to take the knife as well? Jesus. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. Object? An object. A clump of organic matter. What? Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. 
Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. <laughs> 